Here we have a Mac Mini that came in for a fan connector replacement. And I see a Hiroshima here. That's how it looks like. I do not know what here this one is, but I see signs of flux everywhere on the board. And what is this? What is this? Wow. I think the person who worked on it may have used solder paste and solder paste spread. Spread here, spread here, and we do not know if it spread possibly on this chip here and made a short circuit. What should we do? Let's proceed and see what we can do with this. I'm going to apply flux and maybe hot air and see if we can gather all that, what I think is solar paste. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's solder paste. What a mess. I'm just trying to get rid of all that solder paste. Right, so this is looking much better. Very nice. Right now, the best way to do this would be to remove the motherboard and heat up from the bottom. And the bottom is empty, so it's safe to heat up from the bottom to refill that connector, but we're not removing the board right now. And we can do 
just the same job by reflowing that connector down. We're gonna point our soldering iron here, 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 and here, and on the sides, and that connector is gonna flow down. We do not wanna apply hot air because hot air on this connector is gonna melt it. Those connectors are very weak. They do not like heat at all. See, one, two, three, and four. Very nice. All right, and we're gonna press down on that metal piece on top. And we should be all good. The connector is solid. Awesome. That's it, the job is done. So this went from Hiroshima to Bahamas. We may need to possibly replace the fan because the connector is deformed. Let's take a look. I do not know if that connector will fit. If yes, then we're going to keep it. Maybe we can just grind the edges a bit. Okay, and I was able to fit that connector. Great. So we're gonna try it. If the fan works, we're gonna keep it. If not, then we're gonna let the customer know and we do have fans in stock. I do see a missing component and I do not know what that component is. The component is connecting with a wire here. You see that wire? Possibly going to pin number two. And pin number three is going to this inductor. I do have a donor Mac Mini that we can look at. It's not the same year, so the layout of the board is going to be different, but maybe we can figure it out. Right there, you see the third pin? The thick line is going to the inductor, and then the second one is going to this component. And I think this component is an inductor. It's not black as this one, which is a resistor. And to confirm this, let me measure it. Zero ohms. So it's most likely a filter. Great. And that component is soldered. Let's just make sure that it's making a good connection from both ends. It's solid from here and solid from here. Okay, we're good. All right, so I connected the customer's fan. And the customer's fan does not look too good, so hopefully it works. I have the power cable connected right here. And turn it on. And the fan is spinning. The fan is spinning full speed.
it may be spinning full speed because the hard drive is not connected. That's possible. Big Boss already left, and I do not want to reassemble it right now. It's already closing time, but it could be because the hard drive is not connected. If we measure here, we have ground. I mean, I do not know if the pins are making a good connection. But let me measure here. We have 3.2. We have 1.6 volts. And we should have around 12 volts here. We have 11.8. 11.87. 11.86. 0.8. 3.3. 0. 0. 0.8. 0.8. 3 3.2, 3.3, 3.3, 1.6, 1.6, and 1.6. All right, I think I'm not going to waste any time on it right now. It could be just a hard drive issue because the hard drive is not connected. I'm going to give it to Big Boss to reassemble the hard drive and possibly replace the fan and see if we still have a high fan speed. If we do, then we're going to have to troubleshoot further. But honestly, I do not know if I'm going to spend any more time working on this Mac Mini. It's a 2010 model. It's an older version. But we went that far. Why not troubleshoot this further if, in fact, the hard drive did not solve the problem? or replacing the fan did not solve the problem. That's it, we're gonna end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.